It's my pleasure to welcome all of you here on the behalf of uh, Indus Hospitals and uh, its associates. Technicians are dedicated to upliftment of the children, not only in the hospital but in the society also. Uh, so I always found uh, pediatric cardiac surgery uh, very very most very very satisfying compared to adult surgery. This is our hospital uh, where uh, we started uh, the, the program of pediatric cardiac surgery in 2019. Uh, now we have a team of all uh, reputed institute uh, trained uh, anesthetist, uh, pediatric cardiac uh, pediatric cardiologists, and uh, we are trying to serve uh, all classes of uh, children from a different uh, socioeconomic strata. I have made this presentation since afternoon while doing my gap now and I came straight away from there. So, it's a seven year old boy with a double outlet right ventricle with a mild malaligned DST. But the fortunate part of it is that he has normally related great arteries. So, the surgeon was interested in terms of doing a complete repair. He wanted to give him two ventricle physiology, which is the most important thing. We don't want to give him a single ventricle physiology and take his life 20 years less. To his life. So he did a very fair job. Pediatric cardiologist at Forsyth Hospital, Mahali. So Amitabh has asked me to talk on this topic. Are you a stents and PDA stents in newborn? So I have tried to make this presentation very simple so that everyone can understand and each one of us can relate to our patient. We will discuss this intervention on case based scenarios. Most of complications in cardiac anesthesia, <coughs> particularly pediatric ones, are quite common. And they are narrowing, very difficult to manage, and it takes a toll on your health. And the only thing that keeps you pushing when you see those buggers coming back to you with pink lips, chubby cheeks, and they're very good parents. And when you know that you have done the correct study and the life and destiny of your family has been changed, that's the only thing that you should push in. We follow by first time and long uh, aortic course length time. I just uh, follow my fellow pediatricians that want to just see this classification of uh, the types of VSD, the number, you know, the VSD. We do write in the eco reports, you know, they are perimembranous VSDs, outlet VSDs, sub subaortic, sub -alumnic. But I want to uh, ask them uh, just to pay attention is that um, the most why I am showing is that um, because we do not do get this information from the patient, the patient says the doctor has said the VSD will flow spontaneously. Uh, we divide them uh, congenital heart surgeries mainly in an asynotic or a synotic uh, diseases. In asynotic, which we uh, see as a left to right shunt. It's uh, mainly they present with uh, respiratory distress, recurrent respiratory tract infections, failure to thrive, which Dr. Amitos has rightly said it's one of the major markers.